Okay, Java tutorials. In previous video tutorial, we have learned how to create a table in Oracle database, right? In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert data into Oracle database. So I'll show you a couple of ways, right? So here you can see I'm using Oracle SQL Developer, right? So Oracle SQL Developers gives you facility to directly insert data into database in many ways. First of all, here you can see this is the table which I had created in previous video tutorial. I hope you would have followed my previous video tutorial. If you look into the, so if you click on this table, then you have a different tabs, right? Last tab is SQL. So if you click over here, then this is the table structure what we have created, right? We had employee ID, which is uh, basically size of four, right? Then we have a uh, employee name, right? Uh, that is uh, 40 characters long and not null constraint is applied, means you have to uh, supply value for this. Then we have a higher date, Higher data, is, data type is date. Default, if you do not supply value for this, then this will take the system date and we have a finally salary, which has the uh, basically uh, uh, precision seven and a scale two means uh, this will this uh, column value can hold uh, uh, basically a seven digit number, uh, uh, seven total seven digit number, right? And after decimal, you can uh, specify two decimal point, right? total seven digit and after decimal that can accept two uh, two digits right so this is all about and finally employee id we have defined as a primary key so here one of the tab is called data if you click over here then here you can see the plus sign right let me expand and let me show you so i'm going to show you some tricks as well so just uh, be patient patient with me and uh, be patient and uh, let's see what i'm doing so here we have a different columns click on the plus sign and here you can supply values for this column right four digit uh, number you can supply and here you can specify the name of the employee then higher date of course you can choose from here right so higher date today's date just i'm going to select and salary you can specify so salary let's say i'm going to specify fifty thousand, right here after so total seven digit you cannot go beyond of seven digit if you try to insert a number having a digit more than seven then this will throw an error so five digits and after decimal two digits right but uh, 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 if you want to enter number less than this that is allowed now once you enter the values in every cell or every uh, column then try to click on here so this is nothing but a commit so after entering you will have to commit it or uh, uh, either directly click on this button or press f11 if you commit this, then SQL, SQL uh, developer is going to basically uh, going to send a insert query to the database. So here you can see the insert query has been fired, right? And if you look into, if I refresh, then here you can see data has been inserted. This is the first way. Second way, what you can do, uh, let me open one worksheet, SQL worksheet. And here what you can do, uh, just click, right click your mouse on employee and drag it over here right and here uh, you can generate a uh, insert query right so select this insert option and click on apply so here you can see insert query has been generated for you automatically so you don't need to write query manually right here thing is that you need to basically just replace this value with the actual value so here employee id i'm going to specify something like this then second value is nothing but the name so name is worker right so you need to specify uh, within a single quote so let's say i'm going to specify son then next uh, thing we have a higher date right so higher date it's a date so always you will have to specify in single quote date and text field always you will have to mention in the single quote right so here i'm going to specify 23rd 10 2019 yeah now last but not least you have to specify the salary that's a number right so let's say 46,000 i'm going to specify for that's it and uh, let me run this query you can run this query by pressing ctrl enter right so here you will see the message one row inserted if you go back and see how many rows are available just refresh it then here you can see oh, there is one more more row has been inserted so guys uh basically this is the couple of ways i wanted to show you how to uh, basically insert data into your database third way also there is a also third way if you want to import some data from the excel sheet right then that is also possible right sometimes for testing purpose you can import some database into your existing table 
and that already I, I have shown you in one of the video. So if you want to see how to import data from Excel to database table, then you can watch that video. So that's all I have in this video tutorial guys. Get big thank you and see you there in the next video tutorial.